So why do people do honors projects? Most of the time, people do honors projects because they want to get into a uh, master's program. Now, you can, um, you can do a master's in communication without an honors in Canada. All of the communications uh, graduate schools in Canada, none of them require an honors program, an honors degree. But other programs sometimes do. So if some people have applied for international studies at Carleton, that requires an honors program. Some people go into sociology in a particular area at U of T, that requires an honors. Right? And once you've left, once you've graduated from SFU, you can't come back and upgrade to an honors. You have to do it while you're here. So you have to kind of think about if, you're th if they're doing it for their program, for a specific program, mm -hmm. you kind of want to look and see what programs you might be interested in and how many of them require honors in their application process. Okay? The second reason, similar to that, is that people want flexibility. They don't know what program they want to go into. If they know they want to go into com <coughs> communications, <coughs> excuse me, then they, don't, they may not bother to do it. But if they don't know, because we're an interdisciplinary program, they might be interested in going into technology, or um, there's a program at York called uh, Political and Social Thought, or you might want to do international studies in a couple years after you take a couple years off. Some people do it because they just want to make sure they have the flexibility to enter any program they want, whether they need an honors or not. So that credential is the first reason, either because you know the program needs it, or you want to make sure you have that flexibility of, of applying to any graduate program. Okay. The second reason people do it is because it can increase your GPA. And the reason it can increase your GPA is because it's 15 credits. So if you're one of those people who have a marginal um, GPA for grad school, you know, if you're getting straight A's, you're fine. But if you're kind of BB plus, you know, kind of, and you want to try and get your GPA up just a little bit more to increase your competition for grad school, or to increase your access, then some people take, because it's 15 credits, and some people take it um, in order to, because if you get a good mark in it, you know, then it's, it's a way of really upping your GPA. So that's the second reason why people do it. The third reason why people do it, um, I've known people in our department who didn't need it for their want to go to grad school, but they didn't need it because they knew they were going into communications. Their GPAs were fine, you know, they were all in A's. But they still wanted to do it because they wanted to have a sense of what research project was like. So they really wanted to try and do a piece of sustained research, a long paper, you know, over two periods, to say, do I want to become an academic? <laughs> Do I want to go to grad school? Is this something I'm going to be good at and interested in? So we've had some excellent students who decided to do an honors just because they wanted to see what it was like before they went on to grad school, or to decide if they're going to do grad school or not. Because you know, if you decide, a master's is making a decision about a credential. But if you're thinking about you know, doing a PhD, you're thinking about making a career of academics. So it's a really good idea to see if you actually like the research side of it and have any you know, ongoing interest in it before you commit yourself. <laughs>